Gabriel, and today we'll be winding a 6 inch test coil. Before we start winding our coil, we're going to show you the steps we took to get this far. I'm going to show you our system that we use for holding our coil. Our winding apparatus consists of some very simple pieces that you can buy at any hardware store. We're using a three quarter piece of conduit that runs from one side of your coil to the other. We have a 2x6 piece of wood with a slit cut directly down in the middle to hold our nylon washers. The nylon washers are set just inside the wood to expose the hole at the inside of the nylon washers. To hold our 6 inch piece of PVC, we have a square block wedged inside. The dimensions of our square block is a 4 and a quarter inch piece of 2x6 with a hole drilled directly in the center. The extra nylon washers are used as space. Make sure your square block is wedged snugly inside of your PVC and the hole you drilled is directly in the center. Next I'd like to show you our method of spinning our piece of PVC. We have a variable speed power drill and some Irwin quick loops. The clamp is used to speed up or slow down your drill at the desired rate. The quick grips hold the drill in place. We have a 3 8 inch pulley system and a belt. The belt is simply placed around the tube and then the tube placed in its hole. We use two square blocks here to mount our drill onto our tape. Once your apparatus is set up, use 120 grit sandpaper to sand your PVC. Like so. Once your PVC pipe is sanded smooth, use three coats of polyurethane to give you a nice smooth finish. In order to apply your polyurethane coats, first you have to turn on your eyes. Apply polyurethane coats thoroughly wet your brush. Use a zigzag motion to apply the polyurethane to your PVC pipe. Go all the way across your PVC, repeatedly wetting your brush as necessary. Do not go over any already painted areas, as this will mar the surface of the PVC. About four hours to dry three coats. First coat of polyurethane is thoroughly dry. Lightly sand your PVC pipe with a piece of 320 grit sand. Repeat this process after each coat of polyurethane is out. It will give you a glass-like finish, making it easier to apply your magnet wire. Two four-inch pieces of PVC for a wire holder. and one piece of rebar, half inch. For the winding process, tape your wire to the PVC pipe. Use your hand to start the turning process rather than the drill. Make sure your first several turns are absolutely straight. Using 22 gauge wire, we're getting approximately 35 turns per inch. We are now ready to start using our drill motor. Use your finger to keep the wire tight and a small rag to prohibit the wire from burning your finger. Winding our coil and taped off our ends, we're ready to add a coat of polyurethane to our wire. And this is how we apply our coating. <laughs> 